Okay, well, let's move on to our next subject that Joshua put on the list, and that is the Nomad. I'll let Joshua tell you all the good things about it before I trash it. So, <laughs> Joshua, go ahead, and uh, I think Joni, she, he's got some images that he wants you to show here. As soon as you pull those up, Josh, go ahead and take it away. Okay. So, to me, I, I as soon as I saw this ship, I got to be honest, I, I really didn't like the pictures of it. I didn't like the design of the exterior cargo, maybe like a fungus that started to grow on me a little bit. But I now have to ask the question of, is this potentially the best starter ship for the price in the game? Now, let me clarify. I want to compare this against the Avenger. Um, we'll also compare it against the the Black, but the Black is quite a bit more money, um, you know, in comparison. So really, I think in almost every category, it, it kills the Avenger size ship. But I, I think it's uh, kind of a quirky, good-looking ship. Um, the sort of diamond-like portion shape of it almost reminds me of a stealth fighter. It's not exactly a, a beautiful ship, but I do think that there's a um, a certain character to it. Uh, even the inside with like the kind of orange highlights and the sort of geometric shapes everywhere. I don't know. It just was. It's kind of a fun ship that screams utility, but. It doesn't scream too boring. Um, you know, when I when I look at a ship, when I when I evaluate it, I evaluate it on a couple different factors. And and one of them is if I just had that ship or if I was just going to use that ship, how would it be? And you know, the interior of it is enough in size that I could see using this as something where I would go out somewhere and end up being in it and and feeling like this would be somewhat okay. Um, you know, I do think that the, um, the ship itself has a lot of different potential being able to, um, have a full bed, a full galley, a full bathroom is nice. Having readily accessible components from the interior is very nice. Um, performance wise, it's faster than both the Avenger and the Titan, uh, I'm sorry, the Avenger Titan and the Black. Uh, I think the Avenger Stalker is still faster. Um, in terms of cargo, um, it has 24 SCU compared to the Avenger only has eight. Now, of course, the Black has 46, but again, you're paying quite a bit more money. Um, you know, for all the things... And for a pressurized cargo hold, too. Well, that's true. That's <laughs> well, true. yeah, it's a pickup truck, but... Yeah. It, it is. But but here's something that even even if you weren't going to, and I know that you know, I get teased for having an 890, and that's okay. It fits in the cargo bay of an 890. Now you can <laughs> it around. Uh, you got to face it backwards. The kind of wide part. You got to get out your shoehorn. It actually doesn't scrape. We tried this. It, it oh, will fit. Cut the wings off. <laughs> you have to do that with a cutlass black, but it does actually <laughs> fit. And to me, I ask, you know, how does it work on its own? How does it work in conjunction with my 90 or maybe some other ships? So to me, I think it's one of the more interesting ships that you can fit into the 890. Now, is it, as, is it um, as perfect as it could be? No. But I think, you know, if you had to recover some cargo from down planet side, you know, because we're not pirates, but you might have to recover it. Um, <laughs> the, the most amount of room to, you know, be helpful to whoever you're getting the cargo back for. We, we mm, talked about that. We talked about this, Josh. It's rehome, rehome, rehome. the car. Yeah. Rehome. Right. Liberate. We're rehome. Yeah. Liber liberate. We're liberating the cargo. Like it. <laughs> um, but back to you. <laughs> the cargo just fell into the back of my nomad. Yeah, just fell into, <laughs> I don't I know how it got up. there. I just backed it up. Bumped it only once, and it, it just fell right into the back. You know, this is this is bad hearing it from a guy who had an anti-piracy org, you know. <laughs> it's all how you phrase it, man. <laughs> it slipped, tripped, and fell on the back, right? Liberate, liberate the cargo. <laughs> yeah. Um, as a standalone ship, the weapons and hard points are, are pretty impressive for its size. It has eight size two missiles. It has three um, size three hard points. Um, it has a tractor beam, which I, I'm guessing helps you get cargo in and out of the back. See, the tractor <laughs> beam slipped. Oops. Oops. <laughs> um, I, I know that um, 
you know, I think it's the only small ship of its size has two um, size small fuel tanks. So I think that should give it some longevity. Also, the fact that it can um, carry the rock, I think, is great. So now you got a ship you can log out in. You can do all the human things you need to do. You can carry cargo, and you can go mining in it. So the utility of it, I think, is fantastic for the price point. I do think that um, there may be some interesting use cases for the Gravlev uh, gear. I don't know if that's going to let you hover over water or not, or if maybe there's some extreme temperature on a, on a planet's surface that you want to avoid, but you want to park there for whatever reason. So I'd be curious to see if there's any specialized uses for that. Um, you know, but I, I will say, I, I do think on the quirky side, I guess my biggest complaint is you can't access the cargo from inside the ship. Now I know a pickup, yeah. you can't really do that. So I get maybe that theme, but I do think that in this case, it could have be a little sliding door, just some kind of man access to the cargo in the back. Um, personally, that would be for me. Yeah, so you could open it up and walk out while you're in quantum or something. I mean, <laughs> yeah, where, where am I going to throw my beer cans, man? That's right. I got I to gotta open the back window and toss that puppy back there. <laughs> one, one thing I'm a, I'm, I'm, I can't I'm see a, my gun rack from my cargo bay. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what do I have to disagree with you on? Okay, you said it's the best starting pack right now. I think so. so okay, right now, I 100% agree with you. The Nomad's a $70 ship. Uh, the pack is right now, the pack's going for 80 bucks compared to 115 for a black starter. That 80 bucks applies during this expo. A week from now, it's going to go to 95. That means for 20 bucks more, you get a black set of a Nomad. Point blank, beyond a shadow of a doubt, the black is a better ship than the Nomad oh, yeah. is. All right. Absolutely. No one's going to disagree with that. So it's worth the 20 bucks for you. One thing I would point out, if you're looking for a starter ship and starter pack right now, get the Nomad Plus Pack plus Squadron 42. I think it's about a 40 or 45 dollars standalone. It's going for 100 bucks. That is a great deal. It is. So if you want to get a starter pack, get that specific pack right now. If you don't have Squadron 42, and then upgrade it to a block if you want. If yeah. you want to. <laughs> See, not much more. I more. fall on the other side of the so, coin. I, I like the Nomad over the Black. I, honestly, it's got some pretty big roadblocks at the moment to being as functional as a Black at the moment. But I think, depending on your application now, I think it's the better move. But, yeah, that's that's my opinion. I, only if you're okay. solo, only play. Well, I if, mean, you have if to if look doing, at it. it well, from my mind, you have to look at it as what is a starter yeah. ship. I, don't, I personally don't think the Black is a starter ship. I think it's a utilitary ship. And, it, you know, it's a, it's a multi-crew ship. You know, I don't think you get the full use out of it unless you have another person sitting up in the turret. It doesn't have all the amenities that a starter ship will, has. So as a true starter ship, I, 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 don't, I would not put the black in that category. So is it a better ship for what it can do? Yeah, it hauls better cargo. You can put more vehicles in it. It's probably a little bit more maneuverable when you get down closer to the ground. It's got VTOL. Yes, but it, is it a starter ship? And so I, I, I don't think, I don't think just looking at it from that criteria, in my opinion, I still would come out on the nomad side because if you're just starting out, you're just a, a single person trying to trying to to play the game, you've got everything in that nomad that you can you can use and and do um, that you can't in, in necessarily do in in the black. I would I'd like to add to that. Um, it's got some versatility to it, especially if you're just single, if it's for a solo player situation. You're right that it doesn't have the expansion for having the gunner and all that. But if you're just by yourself, it has three size one shields, which depending on which shield you pick, say you get two military and an industrial shield on there, those co those complement each other very well versus a black, which has what, a single size two, I think. Plus it's, it's faster. It can run yes. away. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. It's like, so. That's a single size two. I don't think is as good as three size ones, especially if you're throwing an industrial into the mix. Again, uh, at the end of the day, it's only better if it, you are getting it for solo play. Right. I totally yeah, agree. That, that. Uh, that's yeah. at the end of the day, it's a one trick pony in that it's on the upper edge of a starter ship and it very well may be pushed outside the edge of the starter ship price after this sale. Because let's be honest, ninety five dollars, ninety dollars is outside the edge of what we normally would refer to as a starter ship. 
It's, uh, you know, you're really looking at the $70 and below is kind of where we have classified starter ships up until this point. And, you know, if, if you are only looking for solo play, it's got, particularly if you want to do rock mining or, you know, take a, I guess a, a cyclone can also fit in the back. Um, you know, oh, really? stuff like that, not where really. you're just no, going to... cycle could not fit in the back of a Nova. Oh, no, it cannot? Fits. Okay. No, it, well, it as long as you might have the tires hanging it fit, off. It fits it like it fits in the 890. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. But the point being is, is we'll that... we to Josh. In a week, it'll fit. So. Yeah. Yes. There'll be <laughs> well, parts chopped pack off. Whatever SDI or RSI call the starter pack. Now, yeah. starter kit pack would be... My first starter pack was a, the Andromeda for 275. Now, sure, but that's really that's, not a well, starter no, ship. You, you don't get to make the rules. RSI does. It's right there. Game package. It. Starter pack. Look at them. Okay, it's look at you, the not a. Better. The Connie is not a starter it's ship. Its car capacity was 24. Yeah, 24, 24 SCU, yes. 24. Yeah, it's got 20, it's, 46, I believe. Yes, it Black is. Black is 46, okay, so yes. Bam, right there. Almost yep. twice the car capacity. It, right it's, there. Again, it's the key differential. Its weapons is, is better than Nomads by far. Uh, you can fly it solo. We hope nobody fly it. Almost everybody flies it solo with the black. Really, you sure. put some turret anyways. But you do have a turret. So you got that going for you. I don't like the ramp, the um, dumpster aspect of it. <laughs> uh, all the folks we had with the uh, Andromeda, remember the elevators going up and down? Yes. Yeah. Your vehicle behind you. Yeah, that's the, biggest, that. that's the biggest. That's the biggest. If the ramp that. was, if the ramp was a little bit more square in the in the black, it'd be more, it'd be more useful. Absolutely. It would, yep, that'd be better. I absolutely agree with that point. That's for sure. You have to make sure you line up when you put your rock on there. But none of us have a problem putting a rock into a black. You, have you a little put bit two rocks into black easily. Yeah. You can get two in there, no problem. The, the big so. three for me on the Nomad, um, I think it's great. I've been spending a lot of time doing uh, rock mining, solo rock mining. I think it has the potential to be a perfect ship for that for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, it's got an actual living space in it. It's got a counter where you can put food and drink down on, and it, it'll stay there, you know, so you can just run in and grab it if you need it. Um, but the three big things for me right now are the elevator physics need to get fixed because it's 50-50 on whether or not your rock's going to stay in or out when you go up or down. Um, they need to make the doors inside with toggleable sensors like the Star Runner so that you can leave the interior doors open to get in and out faster. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten out of the pilot seat and been this close to the door, and the door and won't open. it doesn't open. open? Yeah, or it opens and closes real fast, you know? Um, and then the third thing, which is probably going to get fixed pretty soon, is the fuel burn, the hydro fuel burn. Well, they um, always do that with new ships. Those three will be fixed. Those yeah, three yeah will be fixed. I'm not worried about those. Again, all You're I'm going right to say now. is, at $70, if you if you it's are, not it's not a package. So it's not a package. package. That's so. What is the package price right now? 80. Right now, it's 80. right now, right now, 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80 today. 80 today for a package. And that's and that's new cash. That's that's war bond, right? Sure, sure, yes. sure. I get that. But if you're gonna buy one today, uh, you know the only person that should be in the market for the eighty dollar starter package whatever we want to call that for the of the nomad is somebody that they're dead set i'm going to do sell solo rock mining or you know because for a few bucks more you can be into the game package of a cutlass black you could carry two rocks you can carry a ton of cargo you have room in a bed for at least one or two buddies you could do all this other stuff gameplay wise the Nomad is a one-trick pony. It's really this one little niche kind of job of I'm going to carry car, you know, a small or medium amount of cargo, 24 SCUs, not small, um, or I'm going to carry a rock and I'm going to go do stuff by myself. There's not really a way for me to drag a buddy or two along to do rock mining or to go cave exploring in it. There are better ships for less money if those are kind of what you want to do. But if you need a pickup truck to carry a rock, or to do some mid-size or upper small size cargo runs, the rock is something worth looking at. But it the was, Nomad, excuse me, Nomad. It, Jay, Jay, a question from the audience there. Uh, is it worth upgrading from the uh, Titan to the Nomad? Yeah. Only so. if you have a rock. At, or Well, I would say, Jay, uh, that, that before, the, before the Nomad came along, 
your one trick pony was the Avenger Titan. Sure. This, but this the is Avenger... a better this is a better trick pony than the Avenger Titan. Well, but I I would say it carries for, a lot more cargo. It carries yeah, a lot more yeah. cargo, but it's a lot more expensive. It's thirty bucks more expensive. Well, you're saying to go from the Nomad to the Connie yep. at thirty bucks, so Well yeah, twenty five, something like that. But yeah. Sure. I, I get that. I'm just saying that it's the Connie or I mean the the Cutlass, the Cutlass Black is a much more all around ship than the Nomad is. Yes. You could do a lot more stuff in a Connie yeah. or a Cutlass Black than you can do in a Nomad. I agree. It's it is a step up from the Titan. I, I don't know that I would use the Nomad for a combat ship. No, I, um, I, I, I could I point to that. I Actually, box runner. Uh, no, I, I've seen it in combat. I uh, I was decided to do a little box run to uh, in a three fifteen. I wasn't really gunned very well, and I got to um, Kovalex and was there to just EVA out and get a box. And then a bunch of NPCs showed up, uh, constellations and stuff like that. And I was like, I do not have the damage, the DPS to take these guys out. So this guy in a, this guy in a Nomad shows up, and I found out after the fact he'd upgraded the guns to two Panthers. And um, what was what's, it, what's the size three uh, uh, distortion cannon? And he proceeded to rip them apart. And he was very maneuverable. He, you know, like I picked off the small fry that was getting on his six, and he tore the Andromedas apart. Okay, it's, it can so be an effective combat it, ship in the right hands. The, the Nomad is basically a supersized Avenger Titan. But it's you know where you can carry a rock in the back or a bunch more cargo. For, for what it's worth right now, I think the Nomad's in a good spot as far as making money in the game if you don't want to do cargo with big risk dollar amounts. Um, because you can you can buy a rock in-game for 172000 do one or two rock runs with it, and pay the thing off. Um, you know, if you have a 30k while you're mining, your only loss is your time um, in a ship claim. Whereas if you have a 30k when you're running 200 grand worth of cargo... It's a huge issue. You're out time and cargo now too, so no, no, I, I completely agree. I, I see it as the I, best solo money maker at the moment. Money. I would make the argument. Well, yes, yeah, solo money maker. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying. I agree. I'm not saying it's putting the cutlass in the ground. I'm just saying. If you're you know. put, if you're playing with two other people, I would make the argument a Pisces and and cave mining is more value, is probably more lucrative. But or surface mining. I don't know about that. That's a good topic though. Yeah, well, but that's, a, you know, three people can go down and, and do a cave run and empty a cave in about 20, 25 minutes and pull out somewhere around 100K between them. Yeah, well, I mean, I can solo rock for an hour and make 100K. Sure, you know, with a sure, half, sure. With a half full rock. I yeah, no, no. I, 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 again, keep in mind, though, got to have at least a nomad or a bigger ship to carry the rock. I don't disagree. Got to have the rock. <laughs> so. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And it's really only good for you. <laughs> you Fair enough. It's play style. It, again, the Nomad, Absolutely. it sounds it's like, just, is a good style. ship. Yeah. It's a good solo-ist ship. 100%. Okay. Today I don't like it, though. Cups, okay? <laughs> 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 okay. And then, uh, Turing, do you have anything you want to add to that uh, smackdown of the Nomad and the uh, love it no, got? I don't think it's... I, I, I have a cutlass in, in my inventory. So if you want to talk about a ship that replaces a ship, you could you need to do the MSR versus Constellation Andromeda discussion. Oh, oh, well, yeah. maybe Not maybe now. if we have Not leftover now. time. <laughs> that, yeah. one, that one you could actually, you know, go into something and, and talk about, you know, you know, are those two ships, you know, is one is one supplanted the other now that they're both out. So I, I, but I, I think I think like you say, Jay, the, the I, I I agree too in the end. Nomad is based on play style. If you want to run sometimes you just want to go do some things by yourself. Uh and if you're just starting out too, it's I think a a better starter ship for most of the people who are just getting into Star Citizen. That's just now the the dollar the price point, that's always gonna be a factor, but let's face it, Star Citizen, if you're in it for the if you're looking for a price point break, you're in the wrong game. So <laughs> Fair enough. 